स्ट्रेस इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू स्ट्रेन वी कैन डिफाइन इट इज एज स्ट्रेस एक्टिंग इन बॉडी इज डायरेक्टली proportional to the strain produced in it within the elastic limit so what was the hooks law it was stress and strain are directly proportional under the limits of elasticity or we can say that up to a particular level of stress stress and strain are directly proportional therefore we can say that stress is equal to a constant m into strain and this constant is called modulus of elasticity so this m is a constant which is called modulus of elasticity again taking the example of the wire let us say this time again we are having a steel wire attached vertically to a fixed support capital l is original length m is the mass attached so we can say the deforming force will be weight which is nothing but m into g so we get the disturbing dis deforming force as m into g let us say this produces a small extension extension or deformation now this wire will have say circular cross section and the radius of wire is let us say r so we will say r is radius of wire now with this we can again calculate stress and strain because we have already learned the definition we will get stress is equal to the dis restoring force which is f divided by area force per unit area which is nothing but m into g divided by pi r square if r is the radius of the wire and if we cut the wire somewhere then the cross section which we get will be circle of radius r hence its area will be pi r square that gives us value of stress now since this stress is force upon area units of this will come as newton per meter square because units of force is newton and unit of area is meter square also if we want to convert it into lmt format we can say that this is as length raised to minus 1 mass raised to plus 1 and time raised to minus 2 this will be the representation for unit of stress now strain as we have already understood will be change in dimension upon original dimension so here we have said that small l is the extension or the deformation produced 
विच विल बी द चेंज डिवाइडेड बाय ओरिजिनल लेंथ सो स्मॉल एल अपॉन कैपिटल एल विल बी द स्ट्रेन प्रोड्यूस नाउ दिस इज ऑल्सो लेंथ दिस इज ऑल्सो ए काइंड ऑफ लेंथ सो बोथ ऑफ देम विल हैव सेम यूनिट्स एंड डेयर फोर द क्वांटिटी स्ट्रेन विल हैव नो डायमेंशन और नो यूनिट्स एट ऑल इफ यू विश टू राइट इट इन दिस फॉर्मैट इट विल बी एल रेस टू जीरो एम रेस टू जीरो टी रेस टू जीरो now as per our definition this two will be directly proportional and we will get a constant called modulus of elasticity since we are stretching it vertically down or in a longitudinal way this particular stress can be called as longitudinal stress so we can say that this is also longitudinal stress and the strain produced is also along a longitudinal way it is also called as longitudinal strain now if we divide them we will get the ratio modulus of elasticity this ratio is called young's modulus young's modulus which is represented by letter y and young's modulus will be defined as longitudinal stress divided by longitudinal strain so what we have understood in this part of the session we said that with hooke's law stress was directly proportional to strain with that hooke's law said that stress in the body is directly proportional to the strain produced in it within the elastic limit of the body aapko ye question aayega ki what will happen after the elastic limit is crossed so in that case the material may fail the wire may get broken as we can make an experiment take a rubber band and go on stretching it up to a certain point it shows elasticity but after that it definitely gets broken so the rule is valid only within elastic limit then we have said that the constant of proportionality m is called as modulus of elasticity after that we again consider the case of a wire which is getting stretched we were able to calculate the value of stress and strain for the particular given dimensions capital l was assumed to be original length of the wire m was the mass attached to it which was applying a deforming force since m is the mass the weight of that mass m will be m into g and therefore we get deforming deforming force f as mg due to which we have said that this wire will have some extension say small l so our small l becomes extension or deformation produced in the wire also we have assumed that the radius of cross section of wire is let us say r which gives us area as pi r square so we can calculate longitudinal stress or the stress which is produced along the length as force upon area stress was internal restoring force per unit area which came mg upon pi r square and the units were unit of force was newton unit of area are meter square we can also represent it in form of l raise to minus 1 m raise to plus 1 t raise to minus 2 then secondly we can calculate the longitudinal strain which was change in dimension which was small l upon original dimension which was capital l with that we get ratio longitudinal strain as l upon l and now by applying the hooks rule we can get young's modulus y as longitudinal stress upon longitudinal strain that y will be equal to m g upon pi r square divided by l upon l which is also equal to mg upon pi r square multiplied by capital l upon small l that gives us the expression for y 